Well, you guys can probably hear, but it's, it's raining pretty good out right now. You know, a question I often get is, do you even hunt in the rain? Should you hunt in the rain? You know, as far as tracking a deer and blood trail, and you can talk about that in a second, but um, deer do move in the rain. Obviously, there are studies that show they move in the rain and uh, they'll move in high winds. I think a lot of times those deer are actually seeking shelter. When there's thunder and lightning happening, like there is right now, those deer are rarely out in the fields. And if they are, they're pretty stressed out. You see them running around and, and uh, they're not acting normal. They're not just feeding lazily. And what I love about the rain is it eventually stops and it, and it begins. So I really key on there's many times where I've gone out in the rain, I've actually gone to a stand without the thunder and lightning, but gone to a stand in the pouring rain, I can get in without spooking any deer, leaving any scent behind. And at the same time, if I know that there's a calm period coming up, within a half hour, within an hour, and I have that two or three hour break after that, that's when the deer start to move. When the drops begin to settle in the woods and the woods settle down and quiet down, those deer are really on the move. Because if it rains for a long period of time, especially when there's thunder and lightning and you get this extreme weather, those deer will really hunker down because they are stressed. So it's a great time to maybe get out to a stand, plan that calm period, study your radar, Make sure you see that window coming, and if you hunt that window, it can be an exceptional time to go take to a stand and look for that calm period that those deer will start to move. The longer the rainstorm, the harder the thunder and lightning before, the more they're hunkered down, the more they miss a couple meals, maybe over a 10, 15 hour period, the more they're gonna move when it calms. Now, that being said, you shoot some big monster, you shoot a doe or trying to get some meat, trying to get some venison, and you have that blood trail. If you make a good shot, I've always looked at it, even in the snow, if you make a good shot and that deer, and even if it's a poor shot, and that deer is going to cover in that direction, two, three, four hundred yards, best thing you can do, instead of trying to push it, trying to say, well, I have rain, I have snow, I need to go track it and find it, is to just back out. Because you know that even if you give it time, you know, give it time to die overnight, give it time to die during the day, even if you get a poor shot, that deer should be laying right over there in that first, first patch of cover, three to four hundred yards away, and it'll be dead. That's happened to me time and time again. The one problem, guys want to force it. It's raining, we need to get, get out and look after this deer, snowing. They go jump that deer, you jump that deer one time out of its bed, even if you waited an hour, it's gone. It's gonna go a quarter mile, half mile, no blood, you don't know where it's at. Once it knows that you're after it, it's gonna be gone. And so that's when a lot of deer are lost, whether it's raining or snowing. But again, great time. You focus on this rain right here, deer might move to seek shelter. But at the same time, I'm really focusing on that calm period when everything lets up, deer are hungry, and they wanna hit the woods, and it's stress-free. Great time to be sitting in the woods, even if you get a little wet on the front side.